Welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I am Shine and I have some stuff to unbox and um and show you. Um, I'm very excited about what I'm going to be unboxing. I'm excited about all of it, actually. Um <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, so I got this. And this is my very, very first Hannah Lynn coloring book. I haven't colored, really, and except for, like, when my daughter was a little younger and she'd be like, Hey, Mom, come color with me. That is the extent to my coloring skills. So, this is going to be a new thing. This is going to be a, a trial and error, a learn as I go, because I really want to make some really, like, pretty coloring pages where there's like blending and just you know where, yeah so I'm gonna have to like look some channels up watch them um like I know Mrs. Coffee colors and I know Christy crafting with Christy colors and I know Jeremy colors um Shailene colors like so I, I I'm gonna have to like you know lean on my peeps that color so um by the way if you hear a funny little, like, kind of a fart sound go off in the middle of the video. It is this machine. I'm going to cover up that part because I don't want to gross nobody out. It is my machine. This is a wound vac, and it likes to fart. So, just so you know, it is not me. Um, but it sits right next to me, and it can be a little bit loud sometimes. So, yeah, just my paranoia. Uh, anyway, so I've already opened this the coloring book and looked through it. I've even torn out two pages, which I've I got to tear my, tear pages out better. It does not have like the um, is that serrated I think edge where you can like you know tear it out easily. So I kind of messed it up, but that's okay. I didn't mess it up terribly bad. Um, so this is the very first page. It is a like kind of like a title page. Um. It has, well, this actually is the very first page. I'll take that back. This is the first page. This is the title page. Whimsy Girls uh, Through the Decade. Um, coloring illustrated by, of course, Hannah. Um, then this page is there, and it has all of your images on there, right? So I thought, okay, I have these ultra-fine Sharpie markers. I could probably even color these. So I tried. And I uh, failed. And then I I fell asleep, y'all. Like, look at that. I can't be doing that during these coloring times. Or I will ruin a page. And I will be very mad at myself. But I've colored a couple, you know, little things with the um, ultra fine Sharpies. But whatever. We're going to move on from that. We're going to put that away. And I pulled out this one because out of all of them, I think this is my least favorite. And, like, I wanted – I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my favorite. And I wanted to kind of, um, I don't know, color something prior to doing one that I really, really, really like. So this is just with regular marker, but I am going to be switching um, to my – next unboxing in a little bit so but I thought I would just go through really quickly with these with you so that y'all could see them if you hadn't seen them already you might have because I don't know when this one this one came out last year so I'm sure that most of y'all have seen it but I love it I mean this when I saw this book I was like oh my gosh yes that is the book I need that is the one that is my first channel and book that I want so we have let me move you up just a tiny bit so that you can see like the entire page um we have what and with this one there's 25 images but there's two pages per image so one of them is like this where you've got the back a lot more background and then on the second one it's like a close-up of her face so that's really cool you can do you can, like, color them in totally different colors, different styles, whatever. Um, 
I, I really like this one. This one is like more of like, you know, the wagon days when you had a horse and buggy and all that stuff. And then this one, she looks like royalty to me. Does she not? Like, yeah, I don't know what kind of a normal person would wear this. Maybe she was incredibly, incredibly rich, but no, it looks more like kind of a royalty thing. Um, I love her hair, like that hairstyle. Um, I love the background, to be honest, because like there's so much that I feel like you could do with the space of like the um, the sky and the clouds and like the grass and, and all that. Like, I feel like you could do a lot with that. And then we've got this one, which uh, I wish I was born in the era of getting to wear these beautiful beautiful dresses like I love them by the way I guess these have names I could tell you the names of this one so this one is Miss Trudy that is that one we got her closer up look at that hat and her hair look at those curlers in her hair jeez okay this one is called Sunset um promenade and she's in you know an old-fashioned car um i don't know what era this was I, I should know but i don't and then we've got her close up this one is flapper franny so i think this was like the 40s i believe when this thing this whole thing was um popular then we've got a close, well, it's not even really a close up. It's just, I mean, it is, I guess, a little bit of a close up, but for the most part, it is just um, no background. Background. No background. Background. Uh, and then we have uh, Miss Washing Day, and she is doing the laundry. She's out there. Hanging up the clothes. Um, got a cow in the background and a barn and everything. Um, and a chicken. We got some, um, uh, a bush with probably some berries or whatever. And she is, of course, wearing a dress. Maybe this is the 50s. Kind of looks like, the, like a 50s dress to me. Um, then we've got... Uh, Warbird Rosie. Um, yeah, so she's, she's a pilot to the plane, which, you know, wasn't super common, I don't believe. Then we again, um, haven't, I mean, we have zoomed in some, but we've just kind of erased the entire background on that one. Then we have Baseball Betty. And then this one is just blown in. Then we have Lucinda. And she is on there doing some singing. And then again, taking away that background, zooming in a little bit. This, I believe, is my favorite one. Like, I don't know why. I just, I love this one. Uh, this one is Dinner is Served. So... She's got, you know, a turkey or a chicken. I don't know. And she's going to serve it up in her nice little dress and everything. Come on, page turn for me. Then we have a close-up, which I'm so excited to do these. Like, oh, I have so many ideas. Then we've got our little movie star, which this one is Golden Age of Hollywood. So, you know, she's walking that red carpet, looking glamorous as ever. Then we've got um, Sock Hop Sally. Sock Hop Sally. Yeah. And this looks like the 50s or 60s. I think this is maybe 60s. I don't know, y'all. Like, I am not, I am not good with this kind of stuff. I'm really not. Um, I can't remember when poodle skirts were 
a thing. Like, I think it was the 60s, but, oh, good grief. This one, the name of this one is, um, I think that's the same. Yeah, is what I just said. Okay, this is, is Beach Picnic. So she's wearing her little, her little bikini. And then we've got it close up. I'm excited to do this one's hair for whatever reason. And her swimsuit. I think it's going to look cool. Okay, then we've got Woman in the Workplace, Front Desk Donna. So here's Front Desk Donna. And then we've got her zoomed on in. Then this is the one that I tore out. And it is... Okay, so this is the one I did tear out. And this one is Disco Diana. So that's got the disco ball in it. And this is... This is the um, zoomed in, and then this is the normal one, which has like the disco ball and all the, all the stuff. But look what a bad pairing job I did, you guys. Like, man, this was like a kindergartner just ripped it on out of there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get some scissors or a knife or something so that it doesn't happen again because it just kind of ruins it. it just kind of makes it look bad. Okay, next we have groovy girl and of course this is the 70s um we've got your peace signs and your love bug van um yes i and this one oh i love her hair i love how I, i'm gonna be doing this one with bright bright colors because well that's what the era was back then so then we just have it where it's Pretty much, I think it's the same size, just a ton of the background images out. Um, yeah, it looks to be, you know, about the same size. Just doesn't have all the background stuff. Then we have Rainbow Ray. Love everything. This one's definitely going to have to be colored with some, you know, real bright colors. Her hair might be have to be like... Some kind of a rainbow theme. I'm not sure. And then, of course, we have it zoomed. Well, yeah, it, it zoomed in. and But there's no background either. Then, after that, we've got Boombox Baby. And there's the close-up to that one. Ah. Then, we've got Workout Wendy. And the close-up to that one. And then we've got school photo. There y'all are. There is your school photo. And, you know, it's already close up, but they took it one step further. Made it a little bit closer. Took out the background. This one is going to be fun. Like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it's going to be, I don't know. It's just, it's going to be a fun one. And this is Grunge Girl. And this one has uh, is zoomed in a little bit and has no background. I'm also really excited to do this one. It's kind of like the preppy. I don't know. She reminds me of like Clueless. You know, like Cher from Clueless. Um, I don't know why. It just kind of looks like her with the phone and the, and the clothes and everything like that. And then we've got her zoomed on in. Let's see, we're getting, we're getting to the end of these. Okay, this one is called um, Harmony. That is her name. And she's got her hat and her overalls and like all of this graffiti on the wall that is going to be a blast to um, color. This one is uh, Trendy Tracy. And this one is, that's the zoomed in no, this is not. This is Trendy Tracy. Um, and looks like she's, I don't know, somewhere where there's palm trees. Florida, California, lots of other places in the world. Um, but I love her hair in this one. It, I don't know. Something about the way Hannah does the hair, I really, 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 really like. And 
And then last but not least, we have this one, Cozy Morning Coffee. Like, yes, yes, yes. I know I can't drink coffee all the time, but um, this sounds perfect. I mean, get your computer out, you have your kitty, you got your hot drink, and you can just sit there and be cozy and do whatever you need to do. So that's, and then the, the very, very last one is just the image of that cozy um, morning coffee. So this one, I'm also really excited about the hair and the cat. So that is Hannah Lynn's um, whimsy, whimsy Girls Through the Decades. Um, I highly recommend it. It is, it, I mean, it's gorgeous. I love every single one of the images. It's done, like, put together really well. Um, the binding is good. Um, I definitely think that it was worth um worth the cost especially because you basically have 50 paintings like or yeah 50 coloring pages all right here so um yeah so i hope that you i hope i hope hope that this was not super boring um let's go ahead and take a look at the next um the next package Okay. Oh my gosh. So this one was a little on the heavier side. And I was like, geez, what is this? Um, because where where is it? There it is. Um, my daughter's friend was sending her something. And so I was like, well, maybe it's for her. I don't know why, but I did not expect it to be this heavy. Um, and you can see on the side what they are. I've never had anything like this. I've never had Ohuhu markers. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um but yeah, I've never had I've never had anything like this before. I've always just had like cheap markers that you get at the store. You know, me and Maddie used to color like back when she was like I don't know, a couple years ago when she was younger and like like to just sit with her mom and color. But I think she, she still will because she definitely um, likes to do like artwork and so she can she can color with me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here they are, you guys. These um markers. It is a set. I believe the set was two hundred. I believe. I cannot remember off the, the t like, yeah, um, I think I'm upside down. I am upside down. Okay, so they come in this nice case, which is amazing because otherwise I have no idea where I'd put them. Um, they have a nice strap, so if you're going to go somewhere in like color, you can take your markers with you. They're all ready to go. Or just moving them from room to room. I honestly, right now, I can't remember off the top of my head how many... Um, markers are in here but it's like it's a lot I think it's 200 or 210 or something um, originally you guys this set of markers is a hundred and thirty five dollars like so they ain't no cheap markers but they were on sale for a hundred and ten dollars and then I had some gift cards um from Christmas and so I walked out paying not walked out um paying only $33 in some sense for this entire set so like I don't think I could have got a better deal to be honest with you um I do want to also eventually be able to get the fine tip ones as well just for like you know small areas so that I don't make a boo-boo but there is a lot, and um, yeah, a lot, a lot of colors in here. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm going to swatch them, but I'll do that, like, where it goes fast so that you guys don't have to just sit and watch me swatch them. Um, but this should say how many, I would think. But it does not. Okay, so this came with it, which is pretty cool. This would be for, like, 
if I decided I wanted to color in the coloring book, I could just take this pad that was sent with the Ohuhu markers and you can put it down behind wherever you're coloring and it won't bleed through like to the following page, kind of like this did. Um, so that is definitely, definitely, um, you know, something that, that I want to keep handy. So, okay, we're going to move this and we are going to swatch these markers. Woo! Good grief, there's a lot of them. There's, what did I get myself into? Like, geez louise. Um, I really would like to know how many are here. So I might, like, do my math and, like, you know, count them and see. Um, so after I swatch them, I will let you know. All right, everybody. So it has been a day and a half. Um, I was going to swatch these while I recorded and, like, do it, like, um you know, fast, um, but <laughs> even doing it, like, you know, speeding it up for you guys, it still would have taken so long, like, I had no idea how long that this would take, um, so that's why I didn't record it. So, there are 168 markers in the, um, the set that I got, the Ohuhu set that I got. And, um, they didn't go in, like, alphabetical order, num numerical order, another word that I can't say, numerical, is it numerical? Anyway, um, and, like, like, somewhat they had, like, you know, like, green, pink, grays and blacks, but then there's also, like, random... You know, so it was really not easy to find. Plus, I don't have my glasses and yet. And so, yeah, my my good old camera ain't going to focus. Um, I'm going to start probably recording with the new webcam I got. Because holy, like, fart on a cracker. It is, it, it is great. Like, it, the focus is amazing. Um, like I did a little test live the night I got it and I was blown away, blown away how beautiful it made everything. So I'm really excited to go live on Saturday with it without having to, you know, use my, my phone, which does not want to do what it's supposed to do. Um, anyways, sorry, went off on a little tangent there, but so yeah, there's 168, so I got them all done, but I tell you guys, like, I ain't joking when I say I fall asleep sometimes. You can see the marks there. You can see a couple marks over here. And you can see a couple marks on this one, too. Yeah. So, my kids are at my mom's right now. They went there yesterday. And I got the best night of sleep last night. Because every time my daughter's gone, I sleep so good knowing that, like, my mom has, like, has her, you know? My mom's also a type 1 diabetic, so I know she knows how to handle everything. And I can just get a good night's sleep and not, like, have to worry about it. So I slept so good last night. It's amazing. It's amazing! Anyway, okay. So I got all of these done, and um, I decided I would color a, you know, a test page. Now, I didn't do blending or anything fancy for this one. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for these markers um because I know that they can like like I've been told like don't color all the way up to the line because they kind of go out they spread so um I just wanted to get a feel for them and I think in my opinion besides down here where I accidentally made a boo-boo because you know yeah that was not a pig that was supposed to be a snore whatever Anyways, moving on, um, I think I did pretty dang good for my first one. Like, seriously, I have to, I don't color. So, yeah, I was proud of myself for this. I was proud. Yeah, there's things I could have done better. There's things I probably would do different um, next time. But I'm learning and I, yeah. But, like, even, like, I know that the eyes might seem 
not great to y'all, but like to me, I did a good job on the eyes. I'm proud of myself for this. Anyway, okay, so I got this one done. I'm, I know this is just a title page, but I don't care. I want to color it because this is one of my favorite images in the book. And I kind of like am using this as like a practice sheet in a way. So I just started this one this morning. So I don't have too much done yet um, because my nurse came when I start. I was just starting it. But I also wanted to show you this one. My daughter colored this one, not with the Ohuhu markers because I told her um, she's not to use them unless I give her permission or she's coloring with me or something. But like I got her her own set of nice markers from Hobby Lobby, um, you know, and they're the, the paint brush end um, and then the fine end. And so they're, they're decent markers and I think she did a pretty good job. She hasn't colored in a long time either. Um, and I, do, I love how she used so many bright colors. I loved how she made the skirt like different colors. And even though it's not like a blend blend, it's still like she took a color and, you know, went into the next. And I don't know. I like it. And I was proud of her for that. So I wanted to show y'all. But that's all I have done so far. Um, and I, yeah, I'm excited to kind of get into this whole, you know, world of coloring and um, watching, you know, some new channels that I have not ever watched before to get some good tips um, and then watching some of the videos in our community from the people that also color because I haven't really watched all of the coloring videos because I didn't color. So um, I'm going back and, and going to be watching some of those because I, I need some tips. I need some help. Like I really, really need some help. Um, but anyway, so this is my first book. I already have another one on the way. Um, and the one I have on the way, I also have one of the same one that's going to be a gift for the Hanathon. So, um, or a giveaway, whatever, gift, giveaway, same thing in my eyes. Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and, um, there will be more to come on coloring and stuff. But, um, it's kind of, yeah, you guys just gotta bear with me because it's all new. It's all new to me. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Um, and I'm super excited for the weekend. And don't forget my live tomorrow, Saturday night, um, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. With that being said, though, um, I, as always, don't forget you're braver than you believe. Stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and definitely, definitely loved more than you know. With that, keep on shining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.